No, not really. I was going to say, um, Extol has been, you know, uh, well known in a. Some some American guy from a Christian metal band once said, we "We're a, a big fish in a small bowl, in mm -hmm. a small pond," and I think it's, it's probably similar with Extol. You've got some yeah, coverage yeah, and some yeah. some uh, you know a lot of admirers as well. So, but I think on the other hand, there are also a lot of people probably never heard of X Talk. Oh yeah, for unfortunately. sure. So well, that's just probably it it's a good thing to start just to have a few minutes uh, telling our viewers and our readers uh, what has X Talk been all about and how it has come to to your new band. Just a yeah. small glimpse of. Yeah, sure. Well, uh, Extol is my former band, basically, uh, and um, the other guy started uh, started the band way back in around '94. I'm I assume that they started around '94, and then I got to know these guys around '95 ish, '95 six, and basically just started playing bass for them, like a step in, because their bass player was in the military, and so I pretty much had like a chance to just hang with them and, and play and we did some shows and stuff like that and, and so that basically uh, developed into me joining the band because they're, one of their guitar players just uh, quit and wanted to pursue something else musically yeah. and so there was a spot for me. So I joined the band uh, in like 97 I suppose and we started you know uh, from there on we basically just started you know working together and writing tons of music and uh, all this um, you know developed into the first uh, full-length album called Burial which was released in 98 and so um, and we went on like a couple of tours to the States and traveled around in, in uh, Scandinavia at that time and then I was a part of the band up until 2000 and then I quit the band for a period and then rejoined the band in 2003 for the album Synergy. Uh, this time around we had pretty much agreed upon trying to just go a bit more in the veins of a thrash music because all of us were and are pretty much still huge fans of old school thrash at all. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, there you go. And so we, we just decided to let that show a little bit more on Synergy. Whereas the previous stuff, uh, at least for me, was a bit more like um, more death metal based, basically, such as you know Undeceived and, and those records. And so we did Synergy, and then then once again I decided to to leave it and um, basically pursued uh, other stuff musically. I work with music full time, so I you know do a lot of different stuff. And, Several uh, projects. Yeah, solo, solo stuff and, and yeah. whatnot. So. So anyways, um, uh, the other guys uh, went on and released an album called um, Blueprint Dives, but after that they actually went on pretty much a hiatus for quite a while. And then we got together again around, I would say we started talking together around 2011 about doing something together again and that resulted in um, the self-titled uh, titled album in 2013 yeah. so and that's the last extol effort basically and the reason why it was the last effort is because Peter uh, the um, vocalist he was pretty much not able to perform live because of uh, uh, ear issues tinnitus yeah. and yeah. Uh, also other other um, physical issues that he was struggling with and so this led uh, to basically David and I being left with the decision uh, of what to do with Exol. Yeah, yeah. And so we basically decided that, okay, let's just pursue other stuff now. Let's do something else because 
it just didn't feel right doing extol with only David and I in the band. Yeah. Then it wouldn't feel like extol. Yeah. <clears throat> so and and actually David had already started collaborating with the old um, um, extol guitar player Christer, mm -hmm. which is also his um, cousin. And so they, they, you know, they were doing their thing, and so I basically just uh, figured, okay, let me just start writing stuff on my own then, because I was pretty much on a, on a, on a roll, so I, I wanted to write some metal stuff still. Yeah, yeah. And that, at the, you know, that uh, resulted in Slash Killer, so. And it just released you your it. first album, like, yes. two months ago, three months, or something like that? Yeah, something like that. And. It's called Awaken. Awaken, great mm -hmm. album. Thank also you so covered much. it on our magazine with a review. Cool. What has been the, the, the you know the response to your newest project? It's been good. It's rather, uh, did, did you have to go rather from down there, or did you have some you're a well-established musician in a way? So. Well, yeah. I mean, um, the response has been really good and a lot of really good reviews actually so I'm very happy and satisfied and it seems like it's going down well with people out there they're responding in a positive way so I mean that's that's pretty much the best you could ask for yeah it? I mean so that's good is it is it something you you is, what's what's the difference just being I know it's not just being you, you've got your bandmate, singer and drummer and everything, mm -hmm. but from the perspective of, of X Toll, mm -hmm. and now you're like the, let me say that, the main guy in Flash Killer. You can say that. Is I there mean, something you could do now that you weren't able to do before? Or yes, I Because the, the, the uh -huh. album is pretty much, you know, at least if you know you're, there's one guy from Extol, you you hear it. Mm -hmm. It's not it's similar. It's not it's, the same stuff, but of course you can it's totally understandable because yeah. I I have no intention of trying to be like something very different or anything. I just I pretty much just ventured on writing metal the way I like it, and so obviously that's gonna be somewhat similar to what I've done previously. But the difference is that. Um, in Extol, there is sort of like a democracy thing going when we write, so we write together and we arrange together and people are free to say, don't like that riff, and you know. Let's do something else. Yeah, yeah. So, so pretty much, I mean, that's, that pretty much means that not everything I present is going to be on a record. Yeah. And that's, that's totally fine. But this time around, I was on my own, so I was pretty much free to like, do some small things differently, yeah, yeah. perhaps. Okay. And then also, I, to me, it feels like um, uh, Flesh Killer is a bit more. I don't know. I, I'm in my head, like the basis of what we do is kind of like that old school death metal, meaning, meaning the old death metal that is pretty much like thrash metal, if you know what I mean. Because a lot of the old death metal bands were really thrash metal bands Come as well, from, you know from, what I mean? Yeah, of course. So a lot of so, that intensity to it. Yeah. So I've al always been a fan of that. So and, and trying to combine that with my love for melody and prog elements. So absolutely, that's probably like the recipe for what I'm trying to do with Flesh Killer. Yeah. And and I think I'm upping like the intensity as far as what I've done with Xtal previously with this. Just a little bit. So it's. For you, it's a, as a musician, in a certain way, it's a step forward. Something you can hopefully, at least I strive how to do, do that. How do, you, how do you feel about it? Is it something you feel that you said, okay, well, I've I've reached another. That sounds maybe a little <laughs> cheesy to say, reach another degree. But it, was it more it's like sort of more, more well, satisfying I, I would, or uh, something I would like that? I would definitely say that I felt like yeah, or I feel like you know when it's finished, I feel like I've accomplished something that I set out to do, and that's absolutely satisfying. Absolutely. And um, if it's like better or anything, like compared to. Uh, stuff that I've done before, that's up to people out there, but to me it feels like I've, I've been able to hopefully um, move on and do yeah. something new basically. And that's not to say that people, oh, you, you've never heard this before, no, that's not what I'm saying, but yeah. I mean, after all, there are 10 new songs that didn't Absolutely. exist before. So I mean, so in that sense it feels like you, I've been able to create something new and um, yeah, it feels good. 
that. Absolutely. Ali, I think it's an, it's an awesome, awesome album. You mentioned uh, you mentioned progressive rock. You love for progressive rock. Yeah, sure. And uh, one might say Flesh Killer being a progressive death metal band or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Why Is not? it something you can relate to? Such terms or or you know. Uh, well, I, I try to, or I try to use those uh, terms uh, basically just to describe the music to other people. Personally, it doesn't matter because the music is what it is. <laughs> so I mean, it's just a matter of okay, check it out, see what you think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, does it strike a chord? Do you like it or yeah, not? Yeah. I mean, that's that's the whole point. Yeah. But you know, using these terms is basically just trying to tell people out there that you know you might. Get an idea of what it is. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's more more like an like an marketing uh, tool for you, something like that, to tell people to get an idea what flash killer is. Or, yeah, about. or at least be able to try to um, let people in on what it might be about musically, so yeah, that they yeah. can th uh, think for themselves that okay, I might like this, or maybe not. You know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, absolutely. Um, I got my papers. Yeah. Um, just come quite short way, three months then, since the release of your debut album. Mm -hmm. I was asking myself, is this something, Flash Killer, is it something more like a project for you? Or is this the main thing you you uh, focus on now as a musician? You well, as a the person? thing is that, well, I live, um, um, I make a living out of making music and working with music, so that really means know. this is not the only thing I do. Uh, however, I really hope uh, to be able to establish this as more than just a project. I mean, that's going to be a challenge, uh, mainly just because of the fact that Elisha, the lead vocalist, is American. The rest of us is from Norway. That's so that's what I just told to yes, few minutes that's, ago. Yeah. So that's obviously a challenge, but at the same time, I couldn't be more happy with the, his performance. I think it's just awesome. Yeah, it absolutely. suits the music Agreed. so well, so I'm yeah. like so happy about it. And so we're just gonna have to take that challenge and see what we can make out of it, you know? Yeah. So, but for the future, I just hope that we'll be able to play more, basically. That's a good point, right? <laughs> There you go. I mean, the most important thing you can yeah. say, well, just give it a try and <laughs> see what, what's going yeah. on. So you can feel the passion in the music as well, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of logistics going on. Did you have to, do you have to fly a larger to to Europe now for these few gigs you do? Right? Obviously, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. The alternative being sometimes a ship. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes there's all. You know, it's just like step in musicians or something. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> no, but that would be out of the question, at least. I mean, because it's a I, of I, the band, absolutely. Yes, I consider yeah. these guys, as for now, they are, I mean, this is flesh color, you know? And Elisha actually contributed to lyrics on the album, and, you know, so it feels like uh, he's, he's a part of this, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So it would be weird to, just because he's uh, on the other side of the pond, just to, you know. And not not just to not to close him out, but sometimes you know it's just a big deal, just to blow jets. Oh, I know, but I know, mean, that's what I meant. Oh yeah, but I understand. Uh, but I, yeah. as I was saying, I mean, we're just gonna have to take that challenge and see yeah. what we can do about it. Because I mean, I wanted to be a part of this. Yeah, just doing a few shows now. Is there, yes, we is are. there something yes, like a small tour coming up? Something you're planning or not in the near future, unfortunately. Yeah. So, um, uh, but we'll just have to see what we'll. Be able to come up with for next year some you know sometime like I would say spring summer. Oh, well, yeah. that's pretty soon in my opinion. Sounds good. <laughs> I was like if you hearing you say I'm not sure. Well, that's that's a good thing. Well, to you know, I mean, to. yeah, we gotta at least um, see what we can do and hope for the best. Yeah, I know it's almost a challenge. I'm just like was just uh, you probably know the guys from in Wayne. Mm. They're just about to have a small, uh, small uh, European tour now. A new album coming up, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just reading all the comments on Facebook. Oh, you don't come to Berlin. Oh, mm. You don't come to yeah. uh, Warsaw. You don't come to. Mm. And they, they were just saying, you know, you know guys, we're just. Uh, that's not our regular job. It's it's expenses. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, 
at the end it's expensive for us and we try hard to come out and mm -hmm. we love but you know that's that's the thing of course it's true yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah but um, there's uh, definitely uh, a good chance to seeing you guys on a small tour in the next two years or something like that I, I don't I, want to <laughs> no 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 <laughs> but, but I you know I really hope so and I, I'm, to I'm gonna do whatever I can to yeah. make, make that happen <laughs> that would be great man yeah um, you're doing other stuff as well. Oh yeah, you mentioned, you mentioned mm -hmm. uh, that just a few minutes I ago. I work with music, so. So, cool. do you want to tell something about your your other projects going on? Are, well, are you the most, a studio the musician most, or uh, what? What do you? What the most obvious thing is that I have like this solo career, if you will. So I uh, I do things um, like under the label of my own name. And that's a completely different musical beast, if you will. I mean, we're talking more like uh, West Coast soul punk music-ish. Okay. Yeah. It's all on, you know, whatever you like, Spotify, Apple Music, whatever. So people can check it out if they like. But I mean, this is, um, that's um, quite, a, um, quite an extensive part of, of what I do for a living back home. So, so otherwise I do vocals for, yeah. A lot of different stuff, and I do um, occasionally um, some studio based work, you know, producing vocals or doing vocals for other people, and um, every now and then some guitar stuff as well. So, yeah. Sounds like a pretty uh, busy schedule. <laughs> it's okay, and, and then again, I'm also a dad. Yes, I was well that supporting that, you. That's a job. <laughs> I know that. How, how many kids do you have? I've got two. I got three. I can top that. I got, hey, twi cool. I got twins. Hey. So a big deal. A lot of work, but mm -hmm. they're getting older now, so okay. daddy That's can cool. go out to see some concerts. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a part, uh, important part of, of uh, just, you know, for every one of us, mm -hmm. as a Christian, as, as an artist, probably, mm -hmm. just a, as a human being. Definitely. That's uh, I like that that you that you mentioned that as well that you're not just only not just oh, no, no, a musician I mean, or my uh, family is like really important to me and so I mean that's uh, got to pay attention to that for sure. So you're always looking forward to when daddy's coming back from from being somewhere else to make music well. Oh you mean they look forward to it or I no, you're always looking forward to to you coming back to them, that's what I, I hope so. It seems like it, <laughs> and I'm definitely looking forward to getting back home now and seeing you, yeah. seeing my two boys. So you're uh, you're here tonight, and you're going back already tomorrow. Or yes. Do you have from maybe no. another day to? We're see leaving the city? tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. So are, another so. Pro other projects to go on on Monday. On your back on your desk or something like that. Well, yeah, um, yeah. It's pretty much back to work. Uh, See in like next next weekend I'll be doing um, some shows with this gospel thing back home, um, choirs and whatnot, and doing the lead vocals. And uh, during the week I'll be doing some dubbing stuff. Yeah, or some cartoon. It's always always interesting to to see the, the other side, you know, mm -hmm. the regular metalhead um, fan. Uh, probably things uh, that most bands are up there, like Metallica, you know, <laughs> earning millions. Yeah. And I always do my best to tell them, well, it's not like that, you know, that's just maybe like 1% or even less. There you than, go. And, and I, can, I can assure you, I'm just a dude. <laughs> no, well, I'm a dude from Norway. Absolutely. But a nice dude. It was a pleasure Thank to you meet so you, much. Ola. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, well, wish you, uh, I'm really looking forward to the, to the gig later cool. on. I really enjoyed listening to the album, and I'm very, Thank very you. eager to see okay, you play cool. in guys' life. You were in, uh, uh, at the Nordic Fest. There, there was some, uh, I read uh, some some other magazine uh, reviewing the the gig, and oh, uh, really? it was a nice, oh, nice, cool. nice uh, gig. I didn't see that. So I'm really looking forward to. I can probably tell you the. I'd love to the, see it. Yeah. yeah, cool. And well, then tomorrow, travel home safely and. Uh, with blessings and uh, thank you so much likewise well all right thanks man cool